Welcome back to another beautiful day in the land of music. My name is Douglas and in today's video, I'm gonna show you how to manually update the MPC key 37. Part of the reason I'm making this video is my MPC key won't update. And I'll turn this on and I'll actually show you the error I'm getting. Maybe you're getting the same error and you actually wanna update the OS on the keyboard or maybe a guy comes out with a fix and you've gotta do a manual update to get that fix in here. So I'll show you what I'm getting. So if I go to empty project and then I come into my preferences, hold shift, tap on menu, and then I tap on update, I've got my Wi-Fi connected. I can show you that over here. I've got the Wi-Fi on and it is connected when that loads to my network. So if I come over here and I tap on update and I do online update, it starts and then says there was an error reading the update information. So I'm gonna tap on okay. And we have this other option in here, switch to update mode or USB drive update. You could use a USB drive to update this. Uh, I'm not gonna cover that in this video, but there are instructions on Akai's website. I am going to use the included USB cable that came with this keyboard, and we're gonna switch to update mode and update this. But before we do that, let's go ahead and download the firmware from Akai Pro's website. Switch over to the computer, and over here, we're gonna open up our browser, and we're gonna go to akaipro.com, and we're gonna come over to our account. We're gonna sign in. If you don't have an account, you haven't registered your keyboard, you're gonna to need to do that first. Go ahead and do that. Then I'm gonna click on see all your project registrations, and I'm gonna find my MPC key 37 and click on view downloads. Over here on the right-hand side, you see we've got the manuals, the free standalone plugin, which I already got in a previous video. And then we have this MPC 2.13 firmware update. Coming back over to the keyboard real quick, we can see that we're on 2.12.1 right now. So we do have an update. So we're gonna update it to 2.13. And so back here, we're gonna click on firmware update option here, and then scroll down a little bit and you have different options. There's a guide on how to update, or you can just keep watching this video. And we're gonna download the update PC. If you've got a Mac, download the Mac one. If you wanted to do this USB, do the USB version. We're gonna click on the 2.13 update PC. That's gonna download it to your computer. We're gonna let that download. And then over here, we're gonna turn our MPC off. I'm gonna shut that down. I'm gonna take the included USB cable, plug that into the only port in the back that it'll fit in, and it's marked USB, and it's orange. So makes it pretty clear. I'm gonna plug that in, and then we're gonna plug the other end into our computer. Now nothing's gonna happen yet, but we are gonna turn our MPC key 37 on. Probably hear a little doo-doo on the computer because it's gonna recognize that we have a device plugged in. And then we're gonna come into empty project. We're going to go into our preferences menu and we're gonna switch this to update mode. So tap on update, switch to update mode. Are you sure you wanna restart into update mode? We've already downloaded the firmware update, so we're okay on that. I'm gonna tap on update. And while that's doing its thing, we're gonna open up the updater.exe and make sure that your MPC restarts into this update mode. It's gonna say that right on the screen. Once we've done that, we have the updater up, we're good to tap on the update MPC. It's gonna say transferring update and it's gonna give us a progress bar for that update. One important thing to note here is don't unplug or turn off the MPC while you're doing this update. After it's transferred the update, it goes into the programming update mode and it is all done. So we can click on the done button. It's gonna close that window. And then if we come back over to our MPC key, it's restarting automatically after it performed that update. I'm gonna let that power on, giving us a little updating screen. Please do not unplug. And then new plugins are available, but we need to download them. Chances are we have to pay for them too. So we're just gonna tap on do not show this again. And we're gonna verify the update. Hold shift, go into our preferences. Gonna tap empty project first. Come into our preferences. And you can see we are now on firmware 2.13. Pretty cool stuff. So that's a quick rundown of how to update your MPC manually with the USB cable and your computer. Again, there's a guide if you wanna do it with a USB thumb drive, you could do that as well if your MPC is not next to your computer, but it's so light that it's easy to just pop next to the computer. Do that. 
Hopefully Akai will fix this update so we can just do updates right from the MPC with Wi-Fi. But until then, this works to get our keyboard updated to the latest and greatest. If you've got any questions, throw those down in the comments below. Thanks for watching, stay inspired, and keep making that music.